everyone. My name is Jason Titus, and I'm so happy to be with you here from my home in Palo Alto, California. Uh, I've been so impressed with all the great projects that I've seen from the Google Developer Student Club community, from solving for mental health and emergency response support, uh, all the way from universities in Germany, South Korea, Zimbabwe, and more. Uh, you've all made a great effort and had an impact in your community. Uh, I think that students have such an amazing opportunity and are so uh, well placed to look at the problems that we have uh, in our society, in our, our local communities, and figure out how to use technology uh, to solve them. And you know, I can think back uh, to myself as a student and uh, sort of how I got brought into the world of computers. And uh, when I was 11, I learned a program and started working on uh, building a, a bulletin board system that ran on something an ancient computer like what you see here. And as I started putting it together and, and adding features, I saw that uh, there was something magical that happened when you've got communities of people that had shared interests getting to come together and talk about them, even though they had never even met. Uh, and it really got me excited about what technology could do around creating community. And later on, when I, was, uh, when I went to university, uh, I had a, a unique opportunity where I ended up working a, a job with University Recycling, where we had a Unix computer attached to the internet. Uh, in 1992, that was a, a pretty big deal. And so my friend and I uh, one day saw that there was a new program released. It was called Gopher. And this, was, this predated the web, uh, but it was the first system that had the concept that there was a menu of items that you could see, and each one of those could be anywhere in the world. And it didn't matter. You didn't have to know server names or anything like that. If somebody could spend the time to, to curate and pull together information, you could make it easy to, to discover. And so we, we created something called EcoGopher, which was you know, one of the earliest things uh, on the internet focused on environmental problems. And we took uh, a CD-ROM of all of the toxic information fact sheets uh, that uh, essentially said what to do if you were exposed to chemicals or if you're nervous about what kind of impact that it might, it might have. And we made it full text searchable so that somebody could come and say, you know, there's something ammonia in the air and it would tell you, here's what happened. And you can see the beautiful UI we created for it on the right hand side. That was about, about as good as, uh, as go for God. But the concept was that as two students and, and a computer, we could create something that ended up being uh, recognized by the uh, W3C later as the Center for Environmental Information on the Internet. And that was just the two of us working on a project uh, as students to, to try and make a difference. And what we discovered uh, is that as we learned how to do those things and as we, we built up those tools, it turned out that those were really useful skills for a number of different industries. And so, when the first web browser came out for myself, I was I immediately was, oh my god, this this is going to change everything. And so, you know, I left school and went and started a company uh, just focusing on let's find a problem and figure out how to use this new technology around large scale data, and the internet to to try and make it better. And that really set for me, uh, it set me on my path. That, my startup got acquired by AltaVista back in 99. And since then, you know, I've worked at Yahoo and Shazam at Google. And uh, I really have had uh, a great deal of my career come out of the things that I did as a student. And so, you know, when I look at all the, the work that the folks in the Solutions Challenge are doing and broader across all the developer student clubs, uh, you know, I think it's, it's great that at the same time as you are taking the things that you've been learning, learning in theory and bringing them to practice and solving problems. You're building community. You are building up your skills. Um, I think it's, it's, a, it's such a, an amazing opportunity uh, and, and helpful thing that all of you are doing uh, that I think in the long run also really helps, uh, helps your career and hopefully let you make a difference in the world. 
So uh, I also just do want to call out that these, these student club members around the world that we've already seen, a number of them are not just uh, ending up going into and, and making a big difference in the startup community, but also a number of them are ending up working at some of the largest technology companies in their countries and around the world. So I'm uh, definitely looking forward to seeing what all of you continue to build and what cool projects you work on. Uh, maybe one day I'll get to join your live stream and hear your early stage stories like you're getting to hear some of mine. And so uh, lastly, I really want to congratulate all the, uh, the folks who joined the 2020 Solutions Challenge and congratulations to the 10 winning teams. I encourage you to keep learning, keep collaborating, and keep building things that make an impact. Thank you.